What's good is your boy Sway? Tap in. What was your life like growing up? My life growing up, um, shit, it would take it would take me days to you know finish, but shit, it wasn't too it wasn't too easy. You know, we was broke as fuck, poor as fuck. We got to a point, it was like nine of us in a room and shit at once. Yeah, shit was hard sometimes, but I know some people have it worse and all that, but shit was pretty hard. Right. What does HP mean to you since you have it tatted on? Shit, really, it's just love for the city. I got love for my city, so. That's why I got it tatted. I got love for the whole, the whole city. It's really like, like what made me type shit. Did you play any sports growing up? Uh, I used to play soccer, I used to skate, and I used to box. I don't think skating is a, a sport though, but a yeah, little hobby, sport type shit. What were you playing in soccer? What positions? Um, I play all positions, no, except goalie and shit. No goalie, just um, defense, middle, and forward. How long were you boxing for? Uh, I only boxed for, for a little bit, for like, a year and some change. Why'd you drop out of high school? Why I dropped out of school? <laughs> oh shit. Low key, I should have been dropped out since like freshman year, but I dropped out late. I dropped out like in like in like the ending of 11th grade and shit. But I should have been dropped out because I never went. I don't know. Fuck school. I just felt like it was never for me type shit. Like I was never in the mood. I never did my homework. If I go to school, I'll hop, hop the fence in like second period or some shit. It was just like I don't know, waste of time for me and shit. That's how I see it, but stay in school, kids. What is the biggest obstacle that you had to face growing up? Shit, really, like like being broke and shit. You know, it made me hungry and shit. It made me who I am right now. Like hungry for, for wanting more and shit. You mentioned in your song that your dad wasn't a part of your life. Do you feel like you'd be rapping if he was part of your life? Probably not. And if I did, I wouldn't even be probably making like the music that I make today. Like growing up without a dad, it was a little bit harder because it was just my mom and shit and, and like, like growing up to be like a man and not having them like a, a like a man to teach you like ooh, 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 ooh. for me i feel like that just it made it harder and it was harder you dropped your first video no cap freestyle almost a year ago and in a year your whole life has changed how does that make you feel that's just crazy as fuck really this, this is what i've been wanting so you know i just gotta you know get used to it but it, my life changes a lot though ever since no cap that's just crazy as fuck how's your life changed since you blew up in the underground scene uh, my life changed a lot too, like everybody hitting me up, everybody tapping in, everybody trying to fuck with me now and shit. Uh, it's just crazy. Were there people that you wanted to work with in the past before that were out of your like reach because of like where you were at and then now that are hitting you up? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple that now, like I used to, look, I used to listen to the music a couple years ago and I used to be like trying to be like damn type, but now they over here hitting me up. What was it feeling like, like that? People are actually interested in signing you. Well, really? I was like, oh, shit, it's about time. Someone's trying to, you know, reach out. Because this, this is what I've been wanting since, since I started. So, shit. Now, nah, you know, I just got to take it. I got to, you know, just just flow with it. Feel me? You're set to turn yourself in in a couple hours. And you're here doing an interview. And you can even easy, easily be with a girl or getting lit. What made you have a, such a crazy work ethic? But I just feel like, like, you know, I've been had pussy. I've been had... All that shit, uh, I've been working and like really like I just got, I'm just doing what I love to do, really putting in work so when I come out, I'll be straight, feel me? I ain't trying to buy a pussy or nothing. <laughs> what are you gonna be doing while you're locked up? Well, for sure, like, you know, programming and shit. That's man though, but even though I'm lazy as fuck, but fuck it. But I don't know, well, I'm gonna try to go to school. I'm gonna try to get my GED or whatever, how you, whatever you, however you say. I'm gonna try to get that in there. Predict what your life is gonna be like when you get out. I'm gonna come out to everything. That's how I hope. I hope so. You feel me? But I feel like I am though. I'm gonna come out to a lot, to everything, new shit. You know, I'm gonna get on a plane for the first time and all that. What is the best day of your life, and what is the worst? Damn, I don't know. I have a lot of good days, and I have a lot of bad days too. So I can't really choose which one is my worst day because I had a lot of those and a lot of good days too. You feel me? Who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush, shit. When I was little, I used to like Megan Fox. No cap. When's your birthday? August 7th, 2000. How tall are you? I don't know, I haven't checked myself in a minute. But I think I'm like 5'7 in a good day. What's your ethnicity? Uh, I'm Mexican. Oh, Mexican-American, you could say, but my... Well, I was, you know, I was born here and shit, but my people was born in Mexico and shit. But Mexican-American, I guess you could say. What's your favorite thing to eat? Pizza. Okay, I can eat pizza any day. What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Dang, I got I like a lot of candy and shit. Uh, it's either like the 
the green Skittles, the sour ones, or, or Snickers. I don't know. One of those two. How many siblings do you have? I got um, five siblings, five sisters. So it's like six of us in total, but I'm the only guy and shit. What's your message for our generation? Oh no, this this generation is like crazy. Like the, the like the new little generation of the kids and shit. Everybody on their phone and like, you know they're already two years old, already on their phones like crazy and shit every day all day. But I, I don't I don't know. I really got a message for them. You know, be happy, stay positive and shit. Go outside. You use your phone. Use your phone a little bit less and shit. Go outside and shit. Go ride a bike, like back then. Growing up in Huntington Park, how do you feel like that impacted your life? Well, it made me who I am. I don't know how else I can say it, really. But right here, when I first moved to HP, like, I used to kick it with nothing but older niggas and shit. I was like 11, 12, kicking it with nothing but like 20 and higher year olds and shit, like 30 year olds. Like when I was 11, 12 and shit. The violence, all that drug shit, the gang banging, all that shit, hell yeah, I've been, ha I've been headed around since, since I was little. What do you feel about people calling you the Mexican Kodak? That shit's funny, but you know, like, that shit's cool. I fuck with Kodak, free Kodak. You know, that's just funny what they say. They say I sound like him and shit. I don't even try to. That's just funny. That shit, that shit made me laugh when I be seeing that shit. They, call, be, they be calling me Kodak Brown. Shit be having me dead. It's just funny. Who were you listening to growing up? I had like a lot of faces of like niggas I, I would listen to. You feel me? For a little phase, I would like Biggie. For a little phase, I like ASAP Rocky. Cause I used to like ASAP Rocky a lot for like some certain um, certain amount of time and shit. Like in high school, I used to wanna dress like that nigga and shit. Like skinny jeans, all that shit. Rift jeans, like ASAP Rocky and shit. But I used to fuck with Gucci Mane a lot, Chief Keef, and Kodak. Oh, also play with, play with Cardi and shit. I used, to, I used to fuck with him back then in high school. I had like a little little phase back then when he barely came out. So yeah, those are the niggas I look up, like, like I fuck with and shit. Tell us about your first story getting in trouble. Like, what was that like? Getting fucking chased out of a school that we went inside of just to, you know, fuck around in. Getting chased by the cops, by, you know, a lot of little bullshit. Getting chased by the cars already, by 10. <laughs> what led you into rapping? What led me into rapping? Really, like, feel like I had to make something happen. And I was already, like, fucking with music a lot. So, I was, like, I was like, fuck it, like, I'm, I'm gonna just start rapping. Like, other niggas was doing it. Like, if I could do it better and shit, that's how I felt. And then I, I was, I'm gonna drop out and shit. So, I'm like, shit, I got no other choice. I ain't trying to fucking work at a regular job my whole life. What you going in, bro? Like, what, what's your mentality like? What's your mentality like? Really, like, right now, like, about to go in and shit, like, I just feel, like, ready. Cause, like, I got to, like, I know I got to turn myself in. So, like, really, I'm going in, like, kind of strong type, I could say. We ain't scared or nothing. I'm just, I, I should have turned myself in a month ago just to get it over with faster. Fuck it, any shit, just the consequences, fuck you, feel me? That's what you, that's what you get, you know, if you want to, you know, do some stupid shit. What's good is your boy Sway. Thank you for having me and shit. Appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Yes. Sir.